didn't even say all of that. You said that, not me. Are you okay? Who hurt you? Nobody. <laughs> Jeez. Gotta keep it G, man. It's his generation. You gotta. Some people don't like to accept it. You know, some people might get their little happy love, but 95% of the time, they know what it is around here. I'm Vivica Rayford. What else do you want me to tell, like, my life story or something? Welcome to Toxicology. So, so. Where we see how toxic you are. For sure, for sure. Oh, uh, hold on. <laughs> are you toxic? I think so. No. Nah. The most toxic, you feel me? Mm, mm not at all. Like, like, who don't like toxic? Like, what's not fun about it? You, you don't know what you're gonna get. Can your significant other communicate with their ex? Yeah. No. I can't even have my shirt off, wear tank tops. Why? Shit, I mean, it's somebody you know, what you mean? Like, what? <laughs> What else am I supposed to say to that? Do you apologize when you've done wrong in a relationship? I mean, neither here nor there. Well, yes, but for the female, you can't just apologize. You gotta apologize for two months. Sometimes, yeah, most time I do. Yeah, yeah. And they will never let it go, never. So it's like, I'll go back later and be like, I'm sorry, I apologize. I was wrong. Was your ex toxic or was you the toxic one? <laughs> uh, truthfully, let him tell you, it's probably me. Yeah, she got me beat. She got me beat. It was how? I was ruthless. But. He was too quiet. She a light skin. Light skin. Boy. Hey. They will put you through some things, you hear me? Some things. If he asked me, like, would I have sex with somebody else, I'd be like, yeah. If he asked me, would I go out and date with somebody else, I'd be like, yeah. Yeah. They're, uh, un ungrateful. Sometimes. Very ungrateful. Would you rather let your significant other go through your text messages or DMs? Text. Uh, probably my DMs. Why? <sighs> wow. The DMs? Ooh, no, that's, that's, that's too fat. The DMs, I slide them all the bad models, everything I be. The DMs is like slim, you feel me? It ain't. It's just either, hey, what's up? I think you cute. Oh, thank you. Uh, can I get your number? Sure. Da, da, da. Just like exchanging like that, it ain't nothing like explicit. DMs. She can, uh, she can go through the text, not the DMs. <laughs> but see, getting my number is the easy part. Getting me to respond is the hard. What do you do when your friends compliment your significant other? And when we mean compliment, we mean like trying to holler at your friend. Thank God, you know, nobody ever had the audacity to try that. But that. I probably wouldn't even say nothing, to be honest with you. I know that shit weird as hell, but I, I just can't see myself like tripping over something like that. You gotta set an example out of somebody. You know, you don't want your girl to think you soft or something. Like anybody can just walk up and hey, oh no, Ralph, you gotta put him down. It's the bro, I'm sorry, we could be cool after, maybe. But yeah, I gotta put my hands on you. I got to. How often do you dictate your partner's wardrobe? 80, I'd say about 85 if I had a girl, 85%. I'd say pretty often, to be honest. We ain't about to play that. If I can't be out here with my shirt off, wearing uh, tank tops, buffed up and all that, no, they can't, uh -uh. It ain't even like dictating. It's like if he put on something, I'd be like, oh, I think you should wear this. Like, I'm just giving other suggestions. I'm not like, oh, you need to wear this, you wearing this, nah. But I'm definitely gonna be like, yeah. Mm. We got dress codes around here, baby. No leggings, we don't play that shit unless I'm with you. Or them skirts, I don't do that shit. 
I don't give a fuck with anybody. I mean, it's him. He can do what he as he please. Can your significant other have an OnlyFans account? Oh no. Oh no. No, no, okay, okay, oh no. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? If it's my girl girl, like we dating, no. If it's one of them entanglements, you know. Cool. Make me go viral. Fuck. Yo, ho. Let me go viral. <laughs> I think that shit lied. For real. Describe your perfect woman. Describe your perfect man. It's not real. So you see, it will never happen. There's no perfect woman out here. Um, there is no perfect man. On a scale of one to five, how toxic do you think you are? Zero. Seven, eight, yeah. <laughs> you know anything you want to say to the people? Bad mood swings, it's a hair that I can help you, you know. One day we might be good, cool. one day I might come to crib. I don't want to talk to you. You know, it's just, yeah. But I'll make up for it. I ain't going to say how on the camera, but I'll make up for it. It's a beautiful world out here, man. Make sure y'all getting y'all frequencies right, y'all energies. Stay balanced, stay love, you are needed. That's pretty much it. A lot of y'all going out like suckers, all right? Suckers, let me just say that. Y'all know how. 